Statistics and Probability of Grade 11. Good day everyone! For today's video lesson, we will discuss the computing for the parameter and statistics. First, let's define what is parameter and statistics. Parameter The measurement or quantity that describes the population. So, ano nga ba ang population? Population is the set of all possible values of all of a variable. In short, ito ang total respondents or the entire respondents of the data. Next, what is statistics? Statistics is the measurement or quantity that describes the sample. So, ano ulit ang sample natin? What is the meaning? Sample, it consists of one or more data drawn from the population. In short, sample is the subset of the population. For example of situation. Example, below are the minutes of how long the grade 11 STEM knowledge stayed per the synchronous class. Solve the population mean, population variance, and population standard deviation. So, ito ang given data na binigay. Bali, ito ay galing sa sampung estudyante at ang duration nila or duration in minutes kung gaano sila katagal na nagstay for the synchronous class. So, ang given natin ay 65, 76, 58, 51, 60, 62, 79, 50, 45, and 80. Ang una natin gagawin is compute the population mean. So, paano nga ba natin makukuha ang population mean? Gagamitin natin ang formula ito. So, ang symbol na ito ay mu, pero ang meaning dito, ang meaning niya dito ay is population mean. So, paano nga ba natin makukuha ang population mean? Mu is equals to the summation of x over n. Where the mu is equal to the population mean, the summation of x is equal to the summation of x or the sum of the measures of the given, and n is equal to the number of elements in the population. So, kanina may binigay tayong sampung given data or yun duration kung gaano sila katagal nagstay sa synchronous class. So, para makuha natin ang population mean, kailangan natin is i-add yung sampung given I-add yung mga data na to, itong 10 na to, at i-divide sa 10, yung n natin. So, n natin is 10, which means the number of elements in the population. So, ito, i-add natin lahat, yung 10 yun, divided by 10. So, i-simplify natin. Population means equals to 626 over 10, or 62.6. Ang ating population mean is 62.6. So, ang next natin na gagawin is to compute the population variance and standard deviation. Para makuha natin ang population variance, gamitin natin ang formula ito. Ang tawag sa sign na ito is sigma. So, babasahin natin siyang sigma squared is equal to the summation of x minus mu squared over n. So, ayan ang formula para makuha natin ang population variance. Ang susunod natin gagawin ay kukunin ay kung paano na kukunin ang standard deviation. How to get the standard deviation. So, ito ang formula na gagamitin natin. By the way, para mas madali natin makuha ang standard deviation, kailangan mo natin makuha ang population variance. Kapag meron na tayong population variance, madali na lang natin or easy to get the population standard deviation. Where? x is equal to the given data, the mu is equal to the population mean, and n is equal to the number of elements in population. So, let ito yung given, yung sampung given nating data or duration nung the synchronous class ng STEM knowledge, yung sampung data. Para makuha natin ang population variance, kinakailangan natin yung mean. Mean, ang kailangan kailangan natin ito upang makuha ang population variance. So, ito ang pagkuha ng population variance. Ang gagawin natin is kukunin natin yung lahat ng data. 
So, mula 65 hanggang 80, ima-minus natin ito sa 62.6, which is yung mean. Then, we're gonna squared. So, this is the formula. So, gagawin mo natin is 65 minus 62.6 squared plus 76 minus 62.6 squared plus 58 minus 62.6 squared plus quantity 51 minus 62.6 squared plus 60 minus 62.6 squared hanggang matapos yan, hindi na nagkasya kasi masyadong mahaba yung solution. Kaya kailangan hanggang matapos yan, hanggang dulo, hanggang 80. So, ito yung dulo natin, plus 80 minus 62.6 squared. So, pag nakuha natin yung kabuuan niyan or yung decimation, kailangan natin ulit ito i-divide sa 10. Ang 10 which is the number of elements in the population. So, if we simplify this, we're gonna get sigma squared or the population variance is equals to 1,388.4. Over 10 or 138.84. Ang ating population variance is equals to 138.84. Ngayon, pagkatapos natin makuha ang population variance, madali na natin makuha ang population standard deviation. Para makuha natin ang standard, ang population standard deviation, ang gagawin lang natin is i-square root yung population variance dahil ang symbol nito is sigma squared samantala ang population standard deviation is sigma lang so gagawin na natin is squared so sigma sigma is equals to the square root or the population standard deviation is equals to the square root of 138.8 equals to 11.78 so ang ating population standard deviation is 11.78 Ulitin natin or recap na. Let's recap what the population mean is 62.6. The population variance is or equals to 138.8. And the population standard deviation is equals to 11.78. Then we can say population mean, population variance, and population standard deviation are what we call parameters. Ang next naman na natin is gagawin is ang solve the statistics. So, ito ang given situation. Example, from the previous data of the population, suppose that we randomly select only 5 data out of the total 10 data. Compute the sample mean, sample variance, and sample standard deviation. Ngayon, so ito yung 10 given data natin kanina. So, we're gonna select the 5 or Siselect tayo ng random na 5 data mula doon sa 10. So, ito, 65 ang una natin sinelect. Next is 79, 50, 45, and 60. Ang una natin solve is compute the sample mean. So, sa pagkuha ng sample mean, katulad lang ito ng pagkuha katulad kanina or kanina katulad ng pagkuha ng population mean. Ang pinagkaiba lang is yung sign na ginamit. Kung kanina, we use the sign of the mu. Now, we use the sign of x with the bar sign on the upper. Again, where x sign is equal to the sample mean. The summation of x is equal to the summation of x or the sum of the measures and n is equal to the number of elements in the population. So, ito na yung limang sinelect natin kanina mula doon sa sampung data. Yung 65, 79, 50, 45, 60. So, ang gagawin na natin ngayon is kukunin yung kanya meet niya. Tulad yung kanina, i-add natin yung lima at i-divide natin sa 5. So, ang kakalabasan is 299 over 5 or Our sample mean is equals to the 59.8. After that, we will solve the, or we will compute the sample variance and standard deviation. So, ito ang formula ng sample variance. Katulad kanina, katulad din kanina, yung population variance, 
Ganun lang ni Nati solve yung sample variance. Ang pinagkaiba lang ngayon is yung kanyang symbol. Kung kanina, we use the simple sigma. Now, we use the letter S or the S. It will become S squared. And the denominator, N minus 1. So, our, the denominator, we will minus 1 the number, the N or the given data. So, ang ating formula sa sample variance is S squared is equal to the summation of X minus the sample mean squared over N minus 1. Just like the population standard deviation, to compute the sample standard deviation, we just square root the sample variance because it's the S or the square root of S, sample variance is S squared. Where X is equal to the given data, X with the bar is equal to the sample mean, and N is equal to the number of elements in the sample. So, ito ulit yung limang random data na sinilect natin. At yung sample mean na kakailanganin natin para makuha yung sample variance. At ito na, katulad nung kanina, kukuha ta, kukunin natin yung data dito, ima-minus natin sa sample mean, then is squared natin. So, 65 minus 59.8 squared plus 79 minus 59.8 squared plus 50 minus 59.8 squared plus 45 minus 59.8 squared plus 60 minus 59.8 squared. So, bakit 4? Kasi n minus 1, so 5 minus 1, kaya ang magiging denominate natin is 4. So, simplify natin. So, S squared is equal to 710.8 over 4 or our sample variance is equal to 177.7. Then, we, we, solve, we can solve now the sample standard deviation. To solve the standard deviation, we need to square root the sample variance. So, S is equals to 177.7 and our sample standard deviation or the S is equals to 13.33. Let's recap. Our sample mean is 59.8. Our sample variance is equals to 177.7 and our sample standard deviation is equals to 13.33. Then we can say Sample mean, sample variance, and sample standard deviation are what we call a statistic. Now, let us test yourself. So, may mga given problem dito na kailangan natin isolve. Then, post na lang yung video para masagutan natin. So, ito ang unang problem. The following are scores of students in their quiz. 5. 7, 9, 11, and 13. Compute the population mean, compute the population variance, and compute the population standard deviation. So, post yun na lang para makita, para mas hub natin. At, ang makukuha natin sagot is the population mean is equals to 9, our population variance is equals to 8, our population standard deviation is equals to 2.82. Next, the following are three scores of the students above that are randomly selected. 5, 7, and 13. So, we need to compute the sample mean, compute the sample variance, and compute the sample standard deviation. So, ayan ang sagot. Our sample mean is equals to 8.3, our sample variance is equals to 11.56, and our sample standard deviation is equals to 3.4. That's all. Thank you.